We'll get a few perspectives on this. First, Dr. Kobe Michael served as the Deputy Director General and Head of the Palestinian Desk at the Ministry for Strategic Affairs. He's now a Senior Research Fellow at the INSS. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks very much for being here. So I want to hear first from your perspective, how is Israel looking at this as the summit is getting underway? Because we already heard a lot of sort of pushback from Benjamin Netanyahu in the leading up to the summit. Eventually, the initiative is pretty problematic uh, from the Israeli point of view, uh, but not uh, only because of the Israeli uh, pure interests, but because uh, in the Israeli perspective, at least uh, uh, as far as I understand it, um, the, the initiative actually reflects a sort of, um, of uh, I would say, strategic helplessness in the sense that uh, the, the French as well as the other Europeans and maybe even the Americans actually do not know what to do with uh, the turbulent Middle East and uh, they have a sort of a magic which is called the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as if this conflict would be uh, the stabilizer uh, factor of uh, the turbulence here in the, in the Middle East. Uh, but eventually this is not uh, the stabilizer factor, this is not even the central issue and although we think that we are very important, we are not so important. And uh, I think that we are dealing with uh, much bigger events here in the Middle East. And uh, Do you I, think maybe the focus is disproportionately now being turned at not, this conference it's not to only here versus Syria, Iraq, and the rest of the crumbling Middle East? It's not only disproportional, it's also a sort of deviation from the, the, the most important issues. And uh, eventually, I, I uh, understand it as a sort of uh, strategic weakness of... Uh, of the, um, of the international players because uh, they, they do not know what to do with, uh, with, the, other, with the other things here in the Middle East. So, so we hear on one hand that maybe it sounds a little naive uh, from what you say that you have all of these countries, 29 foreign ministers gathering to talk about peace between two parties that are not in attendance. Um, and then we hear from Mohammed that on the Palestinian side, maybe they're saying, well, we can't sit directly with Israel. We need an outside mediator. I is it a mediator? Is it wise that this is happening then without Israelis and Palestinians? Maybe this is a step towards something positive? Um, I'm not sure that uh, this is the, um, the wise uh, step that uh, should have been taken. Uh, and uh, the idea that the Palestinians prefer the uh, internalization of the conflict and uh, they seek for the assistance of uh, outsider uh, players here, it, uh, it is not something new. I mean, uh, they know that they will have to pay a price in direct negotiation. By the way, they know what is the price. Israel declared about uh, the price and they are not willing to pay the price. And uh, I'm not sure that uh, going around in circles around uh, the core issues of the conflict and uh, without direct negotiation between in the, the adversaries between both sides will be, so actually, uh, will be fruitful. Really, it seems that the same thing that is making Israel reject this, the notion of uh, international community's involvement and attention, is what makes the Palestinians want to accept it. So it's course, a, a, a bit dead on arrival. Because the Palestinians are uh, expecting that uh, the international community will force the, um, the comfortable solution on Israel uh, without the Palestinians uh, have to pay the, the price for such, a, for such a solution. Israel is not ready for that and I think that the international community will not be able to force it on Israel. So we hear a lot of sort of uh, negativity on the Jerusalem side. We're also looking at an uh, uh, Israeli coalition that has just become that much more right wing. Is that expected to change the chances going ahead, whether it's with an Egyptian mediator, a two-way meeting or a French initiative? I don't think that uh, there is a sort of linkage between the composition of the coalition and the Israeli position towards the French initiative. Uh, but I do think that uh, now there are bigger chances for, uh, for uh, regional initiatives that uh, will be supported by the, the current coalition and will be supported uh, even by the opposition at least uh, for the time being, the opposition. Is Maybe Egypt they, the place to look yes, to? Yes, yes. I think that um, this um, uh, eventually is the, the Israeli uh, preference. Uh, I think that uh, uh, eventually there is an encounter of strategic interest between Israel, Egypt and Saudi Arabia. And uh, they Do understand... Do you think the Palestinians will accept that? Egypt as a broker? The Palestinians, the Palestinians uh, I think, uh, will be able to accept it. Uh, but if uh, there will be determination uh, from from the the moderate or the pragmatic uh, Arab camp 
all on the Palestinians, they uh, they will not uh, have uh, any other possibility but to, to accept it and to be part of it. Dr. Kobe Michael, thanks very much for weighing Thank in. Thank you.